Hello, what is up, man? This is Mark. How are you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic rest of your Friday. Well, we're in Hawaii and it's Friday night, so it's probably Saturday everywhere else already, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about spending the day at the Honolulu Museum of Art, HOMA, which you can see by the sticker right there. So I thought I'd share the experience and maybe some tips. If you're in Honolulu and you want to go to HOMA, maybe this will help you out a little bit. So HOMA is actually a really nice place to spend some time. You park about a block away down off of Young Street and you walk over, it costs $10 to park there all day, which is cheap by Honolulu standards. And you walk over and you have to buy your tickets online ahead of time. So just Google Honolulu Museum Park or the website, go to the tickets area, buy a ticket, $10 for all day long, uh, or $45 if you want to get an annual pass and then you can go there whenever you want, pretty much. Uh, $10 is the Kama'aina or the local rate. So if you're not from Hawaii, you'll have to pay a little more, I think 15 or 20. Still a pretty good deal all around for a nice place to hang out with air conditioning and beautiful works of art. I think one of the other reasons they do the online tickets right now is because of the COVID situation. They don't want too many people in the museum at one time, so they have to be very careful about how many people go in at any given time. So you reserve a time that you can go into the museum. You don't have to leave within a certain amount of time. You can stay there all day, but they want to limit the influx of people just to be safe. The place is actually really beautiful, as you can see from some of the footage I'm going to show you. I spent a little time checking out the Japanese and Chinese and modern art wings and a couple other places, uh, and the whole place is just fantastic. The collection isn't overwhelming. It's not like the Louvre or the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, where it's like you spend weeks in one, <laughs> one building. Uh, you can actually get through most of everything in one day, which is nice but it has a good sampling and collection of things from different periods and different locations. There's also a really nice gift store there where you can get some local things and some art related stuff and gifts for people. And there's also two little ca cafes. One is a small like, kind of kiosk cafe that has some pastries and stuff, but they're open most of the day. There's also a cafe slash restaurant that's open from, uh, they take orders from 11 o'clock to two o'clock, but you can sit there as, as long as you like. You can check their website for current hours. The one thing I know is that they're open on Fridays and Saturdays until 9 p.m. So you can stay there quite late. In fact, they're still open right now because it's only 7.30. So let me share a few tips that are worth mentioning if you're gonna go there. Things to keep in mind or things you should be aware of. First thing is that they have a weird rule that you can't wear a backpack. Um, so, <laughs> and it's not that you can't have a backpack. You just can't wear a backpack. What they did is they had us put our backpacks in these plastic tote bags and we could carry our backpacks in the plastic tote bags, but we couldn't have the backpacks on our back, which doesn't seem logical, but that's the rule. So if you're gonna go there and you want to do some work and take your laptop, for example, I'd recommend like a briefcase or like one of those shoulder bags or maybe a larger sling that can put a laptop in it. Uh, Cause if you go with the backpack, they'll ask you to either take it back to your car, which we didn't want to do because we had computers in it, or to uh, put it in that plastic bag. I'm guessing, Maybe it's because when you have a backpack and you knock something, you might knock over some art or statue or something or bump into something. That's my guess. I think it's to protect the art, but they didn't actually say that's the reason. I'm just assuming that's probably the reason. So second, let's talk a little bit about the restaurant and cafe area. Naturally, there's a mask wearing rule for the whole facility, except when you're sitting at the table and eating or drinking something. So you can take the mask off while you're sitting at the table. If you get up or the bathroom, walk around the gallery, you have to have a mask on. What's really interesting is that they have a disinfectant. They wipe down every table, chair, and surface after someone leaves, and then they put a timer, a little hourglass on the table. It's a 10 minute timer. And it counts down, and no one can sit at that table until they remove the timer. That allows enough time for the disinfectant to clean and to dry off from the surfaces. The disinfectant they use isn't as potent as like a Clorox bleach, but it does disinfect. So all the surfaces are safe. You can sit down and eat there. And it's a really nice space. All the tables are separated six feet away from each other. Uh, everyone's wearing masks. You can order online through the website. So you can order online and they'll just bring you the food or something. Uh, you can also go up and order directly uh, with the cashier. You just give them your card, etc. But you also have a kind of touchless ordering process that you can follow, which is great. The food there is good, but it's a little bit pricey. For example, the salad that we got, we had a gochi salad with some fruit in it and really nice greens, beautiful little focaccia bread. It was $18, which actually for Honolulu kind of downtown-ish prices for a nice salad, 
it matches the quality of the price ratio we kind of expect in Honolulu. Especially like here, Waikiki, that's a normal price for a really nice salad. But it's a little expensive. Uh, so if you're not used to those kind of prices, maybe keep that in mind. I think 15 to 18 to 20 dollars was around the range for most of the things on their menu for a main meal item. Drinks were probably closer to three to five dollars, depending. Anyway, the third thing we're mentioning, which is kind of a weird rule also, is that you're not allowed to use a selfie stick, but you can take videos and pictures. They don't mind if you take a video and picture, you just can't use a selfie stick. Again, I think it's probably to protect the art in case you bump into it. I had a, um, my switch pod, which is this right here. It's actually a tripod, um, which you can sit on a table, but I was pulling it this way because the legs come together so you can kind of be take video of things. Um, but uh, the guy's the security guy came up to me in the gallery and said, I'm sorry, you can't use a selfie stick. And I said, was well, it okay to take video and pictures? And he said, yeah, that's fine. Just don't use a selfie stick. So they thought this was a selfie stick. It's actually a tripod. Um, and so actually I had this on the table when we were eating and I was taking some video footage and they didn't have a problem with that. So it's just, I think if I just put the tripod down somewhere and took footage, that would have been fine. No issues with videography, just with selfie sticks. The fourth thing to keep in mind is that the exit is a little hard to find. And the reason is because the door on the exit says exit only. However, all the galleries have an entry and an exit door. And on the exit door it says exit only. So by being in the galleries, you get used to exit only, meaning don't go in this door, go in the entry door. So when you see exit only on this glass door in the back of the museum, you assume, oh, that's probably an exit from a gallery, so I shouldn't go in there. But it's actually an exit to the museum, so it's the only exit to the museum. Which was weird, because we were actually standing in front of it, like, where's the exit? And people, we asked someone, they said, that's it right there. We're like, oh. So I would recommend, maybe they change the word on that to, like, museum exit, or exit here. You know, something more directive than exit only, which is confusing based on the context of how exit only is everywhere else in the building too. The final thing to mention is that they do have Wi-Fi. However, the speed is not very good. It's like two to five megabit standalone speed. Um, by comparison, at home we had like 500 megabit standalone speed. It was quite a drop down. But if you're just writing on your laptop or you're just doing some like um, work on the computer itself and you don't need to access anything online, then it's not that bad, which is what I was doing. Just keep that in mind. Also, there's no outlets there, so make sure you're fully charged. Fortunately, my laptop can work for about six hours as long as I'm not using Bluetooth headphones or any other accessories or charging things. So I was able to work from 11 to 5 straight without any interruptions, which is great. So there you go. The museum is nice. The cafe is beautiful. Everything was awesome. I'm kind of introverted, so I enjoy working from home. But after almost five months of just being home every single day, I think I was getting a little stir crazy finally. So it felt good to get out and be somewhere else and sit down and work and like get a breeze going through and being outside and hearing birds and all that stuff. It was very nice. And it's a beautiful place to, to sit and work. So I recommend it if you're in Honolulu, feeling a little stir crazy, you want to get out and sit somewhere for a while. Check out Homa because it's a great place. So I hope you enjoyed this look at Homa, Honolulu Museum of Art. It was a lot of fun and probably the longest period of time I've been away from the house in the last five months. Let me know if you'd like to see anything specific in Honolulu. We're actually gearing for a Hurricane Douglas. Hurricane Douglas on its way to Hawaii. It's gonna hit the big island probably in the next day or two and then kind of come up the chain. Uh, it may veer off, it may dissipate, we don't know, but everyone's being very careful. In fact, at the museum, they were boarding things up and wrapping all the statues with plastic wrap and duct tape and stuff to keep them safe. So hopefully it doesn't impact us too heavily, we don't have a power outage, but if your internet goes out and you don't hear from me for a couple of days, that's the reason why. Okay, I'll summon. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care of yourselves. Be happy, be good. Wash your hands, wear a face mask, and I will see you next time. Hold the